In this lesson, you will learn two things about matter. What is matter? And what is the particle theory of matter? Much of what we see and touch in the world is made of matter. The term matter refers to anything that occupies space and has mass. Matter is made of particles, and the smallest particles of matter are called atoms. Atoms are the smallest units of all matter that exists in the universe. We are surrounded by matter. The air we breathe, the clothes we wear, and the food we eat are all examples of matter. In fact, we are all made of matter. This teacup and the tea in the cup are made of matter. The teacup is solid and made of tightly packed particles. Notice how the particles in the tea, which is liquid, have more space between them. More on this in the next lesson. Scientists have spent hundreds of years investigating matter. They developed a theory to help them explain its qualities. A theory is an explanation of something that has been supported by repeated experimental results. The particle theory of matter says that matter is made of small particles called atoms, which are constantly moving. These are the key points of the particle theory. First, all matter is made of very small particles. All particles in a pure substance are the same. Different substances are made of different kinds of particles. Next, particles in a substance are attracted to each other. And there are spaces between the particles. And lastly, particles are always moving. As particles gain energy, they move faster. Pause the video now to review the particle theory of matter. Can you think of any examples of matter around you? Some examples of matter might be a chair, a phone, a table, a banana, water, or a person. Is the air around us an example of matter? Yes, air is an example of matter. How about light? Is light an example of matter? Light is not an example of matter. Light does not have mass and volume. Light is energy, not matter. So, now we know that everything around us that has mass and volume is made of matter. We are also familiar with the particle theory of matter. In the next lesson, we'll look at states of matter and what happens to particles in different states.